Hey guys, this is Jason Sebo with CVA, and today we're going to review the instructions for the proper and effective use of our new Paramount Super Magnum muzzle loading rifle. Now, let me be clear this video is simply a review and is not intended to take the place of your reading and fully understanding the owner's manual that ships with your rifle. First, let's talk about the concept of the Paramount. One thing you'll notice is that this gun does not look like a typical muzzle loader, and that's because it's not. We designed the Paramount for one specific purpose, and that's for taking game at distances that typical Magnum muzzle loaders are not capable of. So by Super Magnum, we mean that the Paramount is capable of safely handling heavier charges than a standard three pellet charge in a Magnum muzzle loader. We achieve the Super Magnum charge by burning 150 grains of the hotter Blackhorn brand muzzle loading propellant, which generates higher pressures, therefore higher velocities, in the Paramount's 45 caliber bore. And that's a key to the Paramount's superior long range performance. It's not a 50 caliber. Rather, it's a 45 caliber. The smaller bore gave us more pressure, which results in phenomenal long range accuracy paired with the high ballistic coefficient of the new Powerbelt ELR bullet. Combine those basic laws of physics with the Paramount's patent pending gas sealing bolt action system, Veriflame rifle primer ignition system, which provides a much more consistent powder burn than a standard 209 shot shell primer. Nitrite treated custom quality one in 22 twist Bagara barrel, free floating that barrel into the internal aluminum chassis of our fully adjustable long range precision stock. And what you get is a high velocity, flat shooting, super accurate killing machine that will take your long range shooting confidence to levels that you've never seen before. Okay, now let's quickly run through the various features of the Paramount. Adjustable length of pull. Adding or removing these spacers allow for a wide range of adjustment. Adjustable cheek piece. Allows adjustment of the comb to match the optic's height. The safety. The lever located right here and functions forward for fire and rearward for safe. Bolt assembly. The Paramount bolt cams down onto the Veriflame primer carrier for complete gas seal. Priming port. Insert the primer loading tool here to place the Veriflame primer carrier into the well of the breech plug. Floor plate storage. Under the floor plate, you have storage space for extra primed Veriflames and the primer loading tool. Quake claw sling. This sling comes standard with the gun and attaches to the flush cup attachment ports on either side of the rifle. Standard sling swivel studs allow for a conventional sling attachment and or bipod attachment. Internal aluminum chassis. Inside the stock is an aluminum chassis which actually supports the barreled action and free floats the barrel. Bullet guiding muzzle. The crown of the muzzle is recessed to allow easy loading. Also, several accessories are included with the Paramount. These include field loading rod. Since the barrel is free floated, the field rod cannot be carried under the barrel. Therefore, this collapsible rod carried on the belt in this holster is used for in the field reloading. One pack of 15 Power Belt ELR bullets, 10 Veriflame adapters, Veriflame priming and punch tool, capper decapper tool, a 3 inch 45 caliber cleaning jack, a solid aluminum range rod for range loading and cleaning, a range rod loading tip. If you are using the range rod for reloading, it is important to use this loading tip so that no damage is done to the polymer point of the bullet. 
three Blackhorn tubes to have pre-measured powder at the ready. Field pouch to organize all necessary components. Breech plug removal tools, and last but not least, your owner's manual. Using the recommended components will be critical to your success with the Paramount. We did a lot of research and testing prior to introducing the gun, and we learned through experience what worked and what didn't. Here's what we found gave us optimal performance. Blackhorn powder. This muzzleloading propellant is very consistent, burns clean, and most importantly, packs more punch by volume than other propellants. We also found that 140 to 150 grains by volume provides the best accuracy and most manageable drop at longer ranges. These volume measures equate to 98 and 105 grains when measured by weight. And we always weigh our charges to make sure that each load has the exact same measure of powder, thus ensuring the most consistency in velocities from shot to shot. Powerbelt ELR bullets. We discovered early on none of the 45 caliber projectiles we tested gave us the performance we were looking for in the Paramount. So we contacted our friends at Powerbelt Bullets and they spent months developing a 45 caliber projectile that met our criteria. The Powerbelt ELR was the result. Since it's a Powerbelt, it is full bore diameter. So you're really shooting the same diameter bullet that you'd shoot using a sabotage projectile in a 50 caliber gun. But you get much easier loading and better ballistic performance, all without giving up any knockdown energy. Veriflame Large Rifle Primer Adapter. The Veriflame adapters are made from a very durable 416 stainless steel and are reusable. So try not to lose them, but if you do, we will offer them as an accessory on CVA.com. Standard Large Rifle Primers. These large rifle primers carried in the Veriflame adapter produced much more consistent velocities than we were ever able to achieve with the standard 209 shot shell primer. Be sure to buy the standard, not Magnum, as in our testing, the standard provided the most consistent velocities. A quality high magnification scope. With the Paramount having 400 yard capabilities, it's imperative that you select a high quality optic with external turrets to effectively dial elevation to the distance you're shooting. We recommend something with at least 18 power magnification like this Vortex Viper or something similar. We also highly recommend using a minimum 20 MOA rail in order to have plenty of adjustment out to 400 yards. A quality rangefinder. One last important piece of this puzzle, especially when hunting, is to have a good rangefinder at the ready so you can have an accurate yardage prior to dialing your scope. Prior to heading to the Ranger field, it just makes sense to go ahead and prepare all of your load components. Let's do that right now. First, the loading of the large rifle primer into the Veriflame adapter. This is a simple process when using the included tools. Just place a Veriflame primer adapter into the base. Place a large rifle primer onto the top surface of the primer guide and slide it toward the center until it falls into the hole. Insert the priming punch into the primer guide and then tap with a hammer. Now your adapter is primed. To unload spent primers, 
just set the VeriFlame upside down into the base and then tap the spit primer out with a punch. Now the VeriFlame is ready for repriming. Next, the measuring of the Blackhorn 209 propellant. There are two ways to do this, either by volume measure or by weight measure. Measuring by weight is by far the most precise method, and being precise is very important in keeping the bullet drops consistent, especially at longer ranges. All you have to do is set the desired weight. We'll do 105 grains by weight, which equates to 150 grains by volume. The scale will then automatically run until the correct weight is reached. But you can hurry it along by adding powder just like this. Once done, you can then transfer the powder to one of the loading tubes. Cap the tube when complete. To measure by volume, you can simply use the calibration lines on the loading tubes. Just pour the propellant into the tube like this until the desired calibration line is reached. Then, shake out any excess propellant, getting as close to the calibration line as possible. Cap the tube when complete. Now, with our Veriflames primed and our powder measured, we're finally ready to head to the range to load and shoot the Paramount. Now, let's run through the proper loading process with the Paramount. First, check to be sure the gun is unloaded. Next, fire one primed Veriflame through the unloaded gun to dry the breech. Be sure to set the safety back to the safe position. Then, pour your measured charge of Blackhorn powder down the barrel tapping the butt of the gun so that it all settles to the bottom. Now, place the Power Belt ELR bullet into the bullet guiding muzzle. Position the ramrod over the bullet and push the bullet down the barrel until it stops against the propellant charge. Now this next part is very important. Apply pressure until you feel one or two pops. This is the projectile compressing the propellant. Next, insert a primed Veriflame into the breech plug well using the priming tool. This gun is now ready to fire. Just slide the safety off, aim, and squeeze the trigger. At this point, we are now ready to sight in this Paramount. Here's what we found to be the best procedure. First, zero the gun three inches high at 100 yards. This should give you a 200 yard zero, but double check it at 200 yards just to be safe. Once this is done, your ballistics should match those listed in section 14 of your owner's manual. These ballistics were derived using 140 and 150 grains by volume of Blackhorn with the ELR bullet. Based on our testing, using either less or more than these recommended volumes of propellant will detract from the performance of the Paramount. Okay, that wraps up the video. We sure hope you've learned a lot, but remember, this is only a summary of the operating instructions. And finally, thank you so much for purchasing a CVA Paramount. All of us at CVA hope it brings you years of hunting and shooting success.